This is Volleyball DNA. All right, so at the time this conversation is taking place, a little bit more than two days have passed since the PNVFI announced the 16 players who make up the national team pool for women's volleyball. And one of the 16 members is a 21-year-old from the Ateneo Lady Eagles, Faith Nesperos, and she's here with us today on Volleyball DNA. Faith, thank you so much for the time, and how are you feeling? I mean, a little bit. Over 48 hours since your name was mentioned among the 16 who make up the national team pool. How do you feel? Well, I don't know. It's like, I'm not sure if I'm dreaming. Like, totoo ba to? Totoo ba nangyayari to? <laughs> so, yeah, parang nasa cloud nine pa ako until now. But, yeah, it's starting to sink in na uh, totoo nga na it's really happening. Tinitignan ko nga yung listahan, Faith, eh? it's a very young team. A lot of you guys are like in your early 20s and you're only 21. I mean, um, obviously, uh, you've been playing volleyball a long time. Pinangarap mo ba to? Like, like growing up and like how soon did you think it would happen for you? Um, I think growing up kasi, hindi naman siya pumasok sa utak ko. But nung first time ko ma-represent ng Philippines is I was in grade 8 with NU. So actually, that's my jersey up there. Oh, so, okay. yeah, I think it's a reminder na I've been there and uh, ayun nga, I would want, I would be honored to do it again, di ba, for, uh, for the country. And I didn't expect na at this time na um, the opportunity will open up. Like, I'm young kasi and college pa yung nasa isip ko. Di ko pa mm-hmm. inisip yung uh, national team. Yeah, so yeah, it is all unexpected talaga. How old were you, Faith, when you were wearing that number 14 jersey? <laughs> I was 14 years old then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, seven years after, now you have another yeah. opportunity. All right, Faith, I was looking at the list and nagulat ako because you're the only Ateneo Lady Eagle on that list. I mean, usually we have, you know, Eliza, we have Gia. Uh, Maddie, yeah. but you know, he, all of a sudden, as of right now, you're the only Atenean. How does it feel that you know you just finished your, well, you just played two games. It, obviously, the season got cut short, but like you're the lone Atenean on the pool as of this moment. How, how do you feel about that representing not only the Philippines but Ateneo? Um, actually, I thought about that like two days ago. Then, like after the announcement, mm. people. Mm. Um, parang, parang medyo, I think medyo mabigat kasi I'm bringing I'm bringing our school pride then into the team so uh, I think whatever I do parang ako yung representative kasi ng school so hmm. um, may weight on my shoulders then pero yun nga I just don't wanna think too much about it then hmm. and I'll just be me and whatever they see through my actions, and that's uh, that's how I am. Ganun. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> Nakatuwa nga, Faith, eh, kasi nakita ko a lot of your fellow Ateneans, your teammates, they were congratulating you. So, I guess that helps, you know, to take the weight off a little bit because you know that they have your back and they know that you're somebody who's capable of making Ateneo look good, being one of the being the lone representative as of as of right now. But I want you to take us through the tryout. Okay, you're there. Okay, you're, you're, you're in the tryout. Sir Tats is there watching. Coach Oji is there. And then you've got Mylene Pat. You've got Abby Maranio. You've got Jaja Santiago, fresh from Japan. What was it like, you know, sharing, sharing the court with, with players, you know, as big as those? Um, I really felt lucky. Really lucky talaga yung naramdaman ko kasi um di mo eh, di mo mata timing na everyone is at one court at the same time and like during one training so being with them parang yun nga it's like cloud nine cloud nine talaga yung description ko like the whole ex- national team experience sa 
um it's very rare na that kind of experience and la I'm really thankful then na I was graced by God to have this opportunity and uh would be would be great then na uh, to be with them the like like to be with them uh, in the team di ba pag nagsama na kami like mm. it would be it would be i would really be honored to like experience the court with them like to learn from them yung mga uh, like to be with them lang like mm. it would it would be so great so yeah that's really how i felt were there some exchanges like uh may words of motivation ba na binigay si like say for example Abby Marano did you guys like chat a little bit uh, because you know it's it was your first time so i'm sure the ones who have been there already for quite some time they want to help the younger generation out were, were there any tips or words of motivation from the likes of Abby from Majoy or whoever so i was uh I was able to talk with Ate Abby Marano talaga kasi she was uh parang she's just like in front then sa bus, sa bus so mm. and then siya yung katabi ko sa uh, when we arrived doon sa court so ano lang parang I think just trying to like shake the I don't know parang simple ko to like uy kamusta ka ganito mm. uy training na naman like, when was your last training ganito ganyan so mm. very casual lang naman so mm. I think Uh, that casual talk, uh, like small, get small talk to be in that. Mm. Really help na parang okay, medyo okay. I got, I get the vibe. Parang ganon, okay, okay. So it really, um, it helped me relax then at that day. Na okay, ganito siya. So uh, na ramdam ko na, parang, yeah, ganon lang. Faith, sino ba mga idols mo growing up? Like uh, when when you were growing up and watching the UAP. Who were you looking up to? Or even kahit when you were watching the SEA Games, I mean, kahit yung huling SEA Games, like who were some of the players that, that, that you admire? Um, well, growing up, uh, it's no secret naman na sa Ate Eliza talaga yung lagi kong napapanood. Hmm. And uh, sa recent SEA Games naman, I think everyone naman eh, I really admire them all. Kasi hmm. kahit nga ako parang, Grabe, sila naglalaro. Like, mm. sana ako din. Ganun yung feeling. Eh. Sana ako din uh, makakama din sa ganun. So, uh, yeah. I really admire them all talaga. Hey, Laura, somebody you played against um, in high school. And um, eto na naman. Uh, you guys are crossing paths. You're now going to be teammates. What was it like? Na, Uy, ikaw na naman, eh. Yeah. <laughs> at least ngayon, at least ngayon magkakampi na tayo. Well, how is that like, you know, reuniting with Aya on the court, but this time you're on the same side? <laughs> um, We didn't really get to talk kasi that day kasi ka hmm. medyo strict din sa protocol. So medyo hmm. uh, may social distancing at that time. But I think seeing her na parang yun nga, someone na I'm used to being against with hmm. now na magiging katimit ko, parang... Uh, I feel na we're going to be unstoppable. Parang ganun yung wow. feeling ko na, uy, parang may tandem ako. Uy, may tandem ako. May kakampi akong, ga- may kakampi akong magaling din. Parang ganun yung feeling eh. So, uh, so I think lang. Like, uh, too bad lang di kami nakapagsama ng matagal kasi nga with all the protocols. But mm. yeah, it's so exciting din. What about your former teammates? Sina Jen Nerva, sina Ivy. I mean, ayan na naman. It's it's another reunion. <laughs> What was it like Actually, uh, with them again? <laughs> yeah, that day. That uh, day talaga. Uh, actually, parang ano lang eh. Parang back to the old days yung feeling. Kasi there was one time na kami yung uh, nasa court. Like five, like five of us. So four and you girls and me. Kami yung nagsama sa drill. So wow. parang yung paano ba? Like yung chemistry parang nandun pa din eh. like I know how they parang alam ko yung parang body language yung parang mm. what is it kasi yung chemistry andun pa din eh. like mm. yung connection na as they say di ba nandun pa din eh. parang very very familiar sa akin na yung ganong environment so mm. parang it will be very I think it will be easy with a little adjustment then But it will be very easy to like be with them all on the court. Ganun yung feeling. Like, magaan. Magaan yung feeling when I was with them. 
Galeng, galeng. So that was four of you. So you, Jen, Ivy, and who, who's the and other one? Cal, Cal. Oh, Cal, the yeah. setter, the setter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, there was also news, ha? Ito, bago to, ha? Uh, I just read it earlier today. Um, Sir Tat said 99% chance that the AVC is going to take place here. So, I mean, at age 21, you're going to be able to play finally. I mean, <laughs> di ba? Tapos it's for, it's for the Philippines. So, like, did that get you excited? That news about that 99% chance, crossing fingers on that, that we get to see Philippine volleyball against the other countries in the AVC? Well, actually, I think it's a, this is the first time I'm hearing about it. Kasi, oh, talaga? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah. Just, parang, I just read it. I just read it earlier. Yeah, yeah. So, mm. hearing that, parang got me excited. So, wow! Parang dagdag motivation na naman, di ba? So, mm. yeah, parang it's something to look forward to. And let's see kung final na ba talaga na dito. So, mm. yun. Aka excited. Real quick, any international player you're looking forward to meeting? I mean, because 2017, we had the AVC here. KYK was here. Plumjit was mm-hmm. here. Nut Sarah. Anybody you're looking forward to seeing? I think yung, yung silent team. Because I remember vividly, sila doon yung kalaro ko last time na I was representing the country then, doon sa Thailand. So yung mm-hmm. silent team. I, uh, I forgot their names, but yung dalawang open hitters doon, sila talaga yung, ano, parang gusto kong makalaro ulit. I just si, forgot. Si, si Bim ba yun? Pimpit Shaya Kokram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Num- number yeah, 16? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yun. yeah. yeah she, tapos, she was here last AVC. Tapos naging yeah, teammate yeah. Eliza sa mm-hmm. 3BB na Cornon. So, so you guys played against each other na pala? Yeah, back in 2014. Wow. So yun pala yung mga kabatch mo, Faith. Ah. Alright, alright. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm very excited. Let's pray for that. Sana matuloy. Pero Faith, eto. Um, balik muna tayo sa simula. Let, let, let's uh, go take a trip down memory lane. Um, where is Faith Miss Peros from? And how did you get into the sport of volleyball? Okay, so yeah, this story. So uh, everyone knows I came from Ateneo de Davao. Mm-hmm. So I'm a Davaoenia. Mm-hmm. And yung pagsali ko sa volleyball parang pilitan pa sa simula kasi i i never really uh parang hindi naman pumasok sa isip ko about being an athlete kasi i was very studious back then um i'm the kind of girl na makikita mo sa library so lagi nagbabasa and ano lang yung in approach kasi ako ng PE teacher namin at that time which was the volleyball coach at the same time Sabi niya na, just try to like join the training. But I was only grade 2 at that time. So, hindi mo na pumayag parents ko. Mm. But, binalikan niya ako ng grade 4. And that was the time na sumali ako. Parang sabi ng parents ko na, just try to like join. Kasi kinukulit na din. So, mm. here you go. Sige, sali ako. Ganyan. Tapos, like, after 2 weeks, I guess, bigla na lang varsity list. Tapos, andun yung name ko. So, oh, okay. Uh. Varsity na ako. So, ayan. <laughs> parang, from there, wala na. Parang, okay, no turning back. Tinuloy-tuloy uh. ko na lang. And here I am. <laughs> Wait. So, grade, this is, you got on the team, did you say grade 4? Yeah, grade 4. Grade 4. Okay. When you were grade 4 and on the Ateneo de Davao volleyball team, I'm 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 not sure I'm, I can't calculate it right away. But who were the Ateneo players in the UAP for college? Were were you already yeah. watching at that young young age? I think I started watching my grade five ako because okay. I discovered na may okay. UAP pala. Okay. So pero ang malalalo ko talaga si Ate Eliza. Tapos yung ah, okay. venue at that time was in Araneta. So yeah, that was okay. the first game I watched. Parang Ateneo Lasal pa ata yung game. I don't know. So, so that, yeah. that was probably like season 74, season 75. Mga ganon. Maybe. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Not sure. I'm not really sure. Before they won the championship? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that was probably it. That, that, was, that was probably it. Anyway, I'm going to ask you about Eliza in a bit. So, but uh, before that, how'd you get recruited to go to Nazareth School of National University? 
I got recruited by um Coach Edgar Baroga. Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, so from the NU uh NU boys team volleyball. Mm. So okay, so I think you saw me no Palaro, yeah. Par- palaro. Okay. So I was in I was grade six and I was playing Palaro um in Dumaguete. Mm. And syempre sa Palaro, doon naman lahat ng recruitment talaga lang nangyayari. Like, the mm. coaches, and again, ganyan. Mm. So, everyone thought na high school ako. So, <laughs> I don't know. Parang, ano lang. Kasi, I, I was taller than the usual. um Yung sa age ko, I was taller mm. than the usual. Mm. So, ang funny lang. Kasi akala nila, ano, um, mm. uh, high school ako. And then, I remember coach... Um, Goreyeb. Coach Ayun, Roger. Coach, Coach, yeah, Roger. Coach Roger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember na parang biniro niya ako na, ano, ay, follow ko namang high, high school ka na, college pa college na. Hmm. Tapos, ayun, then, yes, Coach Edgar, he, I don't think na nag-usap kami, pero he saw me, and he, parang, recommend niya ako sa uh, coaching staff and management ng NU Girls. Mm-hmm. And, ayun, like, hinanting ako sa Davao, hinanap ako. Grabe. Like, <laughs> parang, yun, sorry for the term, yeah. like, kasi feeling, parang, hina, parang, uh, parang all these people, parang, tinanong, kilala nyo pa to sa ghetto, ganyan, si Faith mm. Perez, kilala mo ba? And, mm. luckily, my, um, there is one guy, na I think, kilala ni mommy, because mm. of sa gym. Kasi they play badminton together. Mm-hmm. So, nagkaroon ng mutual friend. And, ayun, nakausap kami. Na just try to uh, go to Manila. Check out uh, NU. And around that time, NU was like, in the, kaka-merge lang. Na, mm-hmm. Parang kakabili lang ng SM sa NU. I mean, Nazareth. Mm-hmm. So, so, Uh, everything was under construction, mm. magulo pa ang NU. Um, yung team was rebuilding, they were recruiting a new coach. That was Coach Babe. Coach That's Babe's coach. Castillo, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, si Coach Babe talaga yung uh, nakapag-convince sa akin to go to NU. Kasi, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. He said some things that really opened my mind, like my young mind. I, I don't know, na intindihan ko siya That's why it made me it made me decide na I want to go to Manila kahit na it means na iwan ko family ko at a very young age. So yeah, that's how the story went. Well, you know, Coach Babes is an excellent salesman. I mean, he he worked abroad also and that helped yeah. his speaking abilities as a coach. So yeah, um wow. So, what age were you when you went from Davao to Manila? That must have been a, a leap of faith for you and a life-changing moment. I was only 13 years old what? when I moved here. 13 yeah. years old. Wow. Okay. Did you get culture shock? Um, I don't think so. Because when I came here to Manila, I don't know. Parang, wala akong maalalang moment na natatakot ako, okay. na confused ako. Hmm. Ano lang, parang everything was new and parang go with the flow lang ako. But I was very quiet back then. Like, I was very shy back then. Quiet hmm. lang with my books. Di mo makikita ako makipag-usap with other people. So, hmm. maybe that's the reason why then na parang chill lang. Parang naging chill lang ako back then. So, yeah. I, I remember the first time talking to you. Eh. Um, you were injured. This was, I think, during PVL or, or Shakey's V League pa. Parang yung collegiate division. So I was looking mm-hmm. for Faith Nesperos because like Wikipedia says that you have all these awards. So like I approached you and I said, are you, are you Faith Nesperos? And you're like, yeah. And then I, <laughs> and then I was like, so you're, you're, you're the girl with all the awards. Okay. So like... Uh, For you, what was it like, you know, winning winning all those championships with NU, and you, on top of that, winning all those awards? Like, how many how many championships did you win, sa sa girls? Uh, we won four championships. Four four peat the four peat. Okay, yeah. grab it. So, so what was it like? I mean, during those four years, four straight championships. 
I know I know sila Aya yung yung major rival niyo eh, 'di ba? And and you UST. So what was it like, you know, in your early UAAP days in in high school? Hmm, what was it like um I could say na hindi kinain ng katawan ko on my first year. Hmm. So yeah, I was I was injured that time no uh yung championship na namin on my first year. I didn't get to play noong last two games na namin. So, do or die. So, we, like, we, three games yun eh, sa championship. So, mm. I didn't get to play la, the last two games. I was mm. already injured that time. So, I think yun yung, parang, if there's a culture shock man na nangyari, <laughs> yung sa training, hindi kinayo ng katawan ko. So, yeah. And, I think it became difficult then. Kasi nga, in na injured ako so wala akong parang it was extra challenging for me to strengthen my body back then hmm. i was only 13 years old so oh, ano na ano, 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 ano yung pinanggagawa ko so <laughs> <laughs> nakakatawa lang like going back na o oh, nga ano nakaka like, what a story back then and uh. it was very hard kasi twice a day agad kami with coach babes at that time mm-hmm. but nung second year ko na and once na lang pero um nag-focus like naging more focused na sa mga different programs ayan so very naging organized and everything and dun dun nag-start yung journey namin na naging more organized naging mas planado and um parang ano din kasi yung high school ko was the foundation then development mm. ng foundation ng not only my volleyball skills but also yung aking character development kasi mm. teenager eh kasi dun talaga nang dun talaga I develop yung character and what i can say is talagang other than the volleyball skills yung character development kasi namin iba iba yung development when with coach Pids eh mm parang like super advanced na ewan na I don't know parang yung character development is what help us to achieve those uh, yung four feet na yon and I can say naman na kahit na ma giwawalay kami I can still can you can still see yung may trademark eh may trade for my specific trademark pag NU player ka mm. around that around our time with coach feeds. And very it's very unforgettable. Very thankful na si coach Babes yung nakasama namin at that time. So, Faith karamihan sa mga karamihan sa mga players ng NU, yung mga teammates mo decided to stay. But you decided to go. Were there conversations amongst you guys, yung mga teammates mo in high school na wag na tayong umalis, dito na lang tayo sa NU. May may ganun ba or like was it like you know each each and every one of you went their own way try to feel things out see what's out there and then eventually decide on what to do for college Um we parang in time na yon ano uh kanya-kanya talaga mm. kasi they know it's a very big deal talaga when in deciding w- where to go for college. Mm. So, syempre, there were exchanges then on, like, what do you think? Do you think ganito, ganyan? Mm. So, we were weighing our options then. And, syempre, very, it's very hard then na uh, um, thinking about leaving and you was under the mayor up then sa mm. side. So, uh, for me, kasi six years na buhay ko nandun. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, like the people so ano man yung um the people that i met and ano yung uh, na achieve namin through and with and you may up yon mm. and we we really went our own ways to like uh feel kung ano ba talaga yung gusto ng uh, heart namin at that time and yeah here I am. So, <laughs> nakuha naman nila yung sagot ko na andito na ako ngayon sa Ateneo. And, yeah. Now, no, knowing your history, Faith, 
na atinista ka na naman talaga ever since. Did you know, like in your heart, that even though you were successful in NU, that your heart would one day lead you back to Ateneo? And also knowing the fact na, di ba, it's, it's like a known thing among volleyball, the volleyball community that idol mo si Eliza, and it would be nice that you play for the school that your idol played for. Did, did you have a feeling already na, okay, college, there's a chance I'm gonna go to Ateneo. And like, what were the other reasons for you to pursue going to Ateneo? Um, alam ko talaga na if I will have options for college. Hmm. Mag- maging option talaga yung Ateneo. NU and Ateneo. Maging option talaga yan. Hmm. And alam ko na kung may crossroads man, <laughs> yun nga, na parang mahi- mahihirapan talaga ako. And what, I think what um, pushed me na to decide to go to Ateneo kasi parang I'm familiar with the culture, with the values na goes with Ateneo. Kasi I've been there eh. And I could say then na uh, uh, isa yun sa being with Ateneo at a younger age. Uh, isa din yung factor on sa character ko. And I think there's some personal reasons then kung why na I lean to go to Ateneo. And yeah, parang it was really uh, a debate on where I think I would grow more. Mm. Where I could be, uh, where I could um, reach yung limit ko pa. Mm-mm. Parang ganun. Ganun yung parang mas yun yung re, parang mas malalim na reason not because tagatin yung dati or mm. parang jans kasi sa alatela sa dati but mm. it's really yun nga I I'm a type of person na I wanna like grow I wanna parang to kung ito yung limit ko ay hindi may may ano pa jan parang mm. may more pa so yeah yun yun Faith what course are you taking up in Ateneo uh, I'm taking up uh, management. So if you weren't a volleyball player, what job do you see yourself taking? So I don't really <laughs> see myself in the corporate world. Okay, so yeah. I think maybe it's a business or, I know, entrepreneurship, something like that. Mm. Yeah. Kaya ako kasi sabi mo kanina, mahilig ka sa books, eh, diba? You were that type of girl, the, you know, all, always reading... Mm. And uh, by yourself, not really like that sociable. Although I think you're evolving now because you know you take a lot of interviews. Pero eto faith. Um, there is this uh, famous picture of you, very young, wearing an Ateneo mm-hmm. volleyball shirt. I think you guys were in the Blue Eagle gym because in background, parang Blue Eagle gym, and you're beside Eliza Valdez. And I've seen this picture numerous times already. I want to ask you the story behind that picture. Uh, when was that picture taken? What was happening? Why were you in the Blue Eagle gym? And what was it like, you know, getting that picture with Eliza Valdez? Okay, so that <laughs> picture, grabe, parang throwback talaga. Kasi uh, that picture, um, I was already, uh, I was with the Ateneo de Davao high school team. So every summer, they have summer camp here in Manila. Tapos mm, playing mm. against um, UAP collegiate teams, di ba? Okay. So, syempre, Ateneo. So, doon kami sa beg nag-stay. Doon kami, okay. uh, naka-quarters. Okay. Okay. So, uh, that day kasi, um, that was also the same year din na kinusap ako ng NU. So, basta yung summer na yon, uh, I was transitioning uh, uh. into high school kasi. Okay. So, I think that picture was taken, I think maybe two weeks before ako nilapitan ng NU. Wow! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. So, yeah, that's the timeline. So, um, ayun nga, syempre idol ko. So, nagpa-picture ako kaya at Eliza. Medyo nahiya, hiya, nahiya pa nga ako that time. <laughs> parang, I think then, dun din si, parang, 
I'm not sure if I remember her right, but yung name, but uh, si Boli ba yun? Basta yung parang player din dati or parang foreign foreign player dati. Parang Jeng uh, Boli or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something okay. like that. Parang Coach Roger Goryeb pa that time eh. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that was the time. I think 2012 or 13, I'm not sure. Okay. This, uh, that was the year na I was transitioning into high school. Pa first year high school na ako nun eh. Mm. So that was the time na uh, the, the picture was taken. What did Eliza tell you? Did like, uh, she like whisper to you, uy, balik ka dito ah. Or what? <laughs> wala naman. I mean, wala naman. Kasi, wala. Parang, it was just a casual photo. Like, pa picture po, ganun lang. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Do, do you ever like, uh, talk about that? Like, hey, you know, one time, ano, nagpa-picture ako sa'yo ate, and now, you know, I'm in Ateneo. Wala naman ganun. Or... Wala. Wala. Wala naman. Pero, there this one, I think, nag-post ako dati sa Instagram yeah, yeah. about it. That was uh-huh. doon. I think doon na, ano, <laughs> parang doon na remember na, ay, oo nga, dati pala, yeah. nagpa-picture pala to sa akin. <laughs> so, Eliza was like, oh, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, you know what? I, I like what you said earlier about you going to Ateneo having a more deeper reason and that deeper reason is for you to grow because I, I think one way for a player and a person to grow is when you're put into an unfamiliar situation. And I mean, because if you stayed in NU, sila sila pa rin yung teammates mo and then Coach Babes became the coach also in the collegiate level. So I think... You moving to Ateneo gave you a new challenge. And in the PVL Collegiate Conference, before this was before Kat came back. This was before Joanna Maraginot came back. You were thrust into the spotlight. You were immediately the leading scorer. You had to be the, the go-to girl of Ateneo. So how was that for you? Na rookie ka, and then you know it was televised. It was the PVL And then you had to play UST and you know Ateneo just played UST in the UAP finals prior to that. What was that experience like for you na, okay, it's it's your time to shine now? Mm. Uh, that time kasi, I don't know, maybe hindi ko na din masyado inisip na parang, oh, we were in, iba na to, college na to. Mm. Uh, Iba na yung exposure, iba na yung audience and everything. Uh, I don't remember na I was thinking about that. Parang at that time, parang inisip ko lang na I'm here kasi uh, parang yung purpose ko dito is to play for my school and I'll just give, give my best. Parang, parang ganun lang, ganun lang yung mindset ko at that time. And I don't know, maybe parang nagsisink in siya sa akin after the game mm. na, oh, we're here na nga talaga. Parang, <laughs> gabi, parang, I know, cloud nine moments talaga. Mm. Na, okay, parang, parang, ano lang, uh, parang unbelievable na we're here. And, I don't know. Parang I think nami-miss ko na din kasi nga super mm. tagal na din, diba? Mm. So, ayun. Parang sana, ano, maybe sana, parang sana bumalik na din. I don't know. Iba, iba yung mixed, mixed feelings ako right now. Ano kung, mm. I don't know. <laughs> ako, ako, I remember that very well because uh, I was excited kasi nag yung UST ulit uh, in the PVL so parang it was like a preview but then you know a lot of stuff happened but congratulations because you know in your first Ateneo televised season you were second best open spiker already and I want to talk about the UAAP a little bit I know it was just two games yung experience more because of the season getting cut short but you performed I think I think ano eh, I, I would say your performance in those two games were were average. I think you could have done more. But obviously, you were adjusting because in the PVL, wala pa si Jo, wala pa si Kat. So I, w- I want to ask you about those two games, uh, the UP game, and then later the, the Ateneo La Salle game. Let- let's start with the UP game. How-, how did it feel to finally play in the UAP for Ateneo? Okay, so diba, we have this protocol 
at the start of the game na when uh, the uh, yeah. players line up. Uh, so, katabi ko si Roma. So, si Roma, uh, 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 teammate ko ng NU. Uh, so, <laughs> wala. Parang hindi ko napigilan na parang, uy, we're here na. This, uh, parang na teary-eyed. I was teary-eyed at the start. Parang, super tears of joys, of course, na, mm. parang, we're here. <laughs> we're here. Uh, parang, all, you see this lights, you see the mm. crowd, you see this mm. big stadium mm. na, parang, that day, parang, it's a good day to fight. Parang, ganun. Parang, <laughs> grabe. Parang, yeah, parang, I w- that time, masaya lang. And, syempre, may game plan na, just stick to the game plan. Mm. And, yeah, it was, was very I really enjoyed that game na ayun nga parang wala ako ibang ibang inisip kundi maglaro mm. yeah and yeah moving on naman to the Lasal game mm-hmm. <laughs> uh first time first time ko may experience na what it's like to be yeah. in a dati kasi nanonood lang ako mm. <laughs> pero ngayon mm. I'm in it na mm. kasama na ako sa naglalaro so I Naramdaman ko anong klaseng at parang atmosphere or mm. anong vibe yung meron kapag lasal yung kalaban. And I think na it's something new. So nahirapan din ako na how do I approach this kind of situation. And I'm grateful din na pagdaanan namin yun kasi at least as a first timer but okay pero okay now i know na hmm. ganito pala yon and sayang lang kasi nags na stop dun eh Mm-mm. so yung process na tigil din so parang uh, na, yun nga na stop so hanggang dun na lang muna <laughs> so bitin bitin talaga yeah. yeah UP you had 10 points and then at against uh, LaSalle, you had 13 points. You led the Lady Eagles in scoring. What was it like, though? I mean, um, going against LaSalle, they, they, they obviously had a chip on their shoulder because uh, they didn't make it to the finals the year before. They added a lot of you know, great players, uh, Gagate. Um, and then, of course, Jolina got better. Tin Tiamzon got better. What was it like trying to go neck and neck you know, spike for spike against those players? Um, wala, parang usual competition, di ba? Mm. Na these players are gonna do their best who might be, uh, might as well do, parang be the better best. Parang ganun eh. And, I know, exciting lang. Kasi nga, di ba, as I said kanina, nanonood lang ako dati. Mm. So, da- ngayon, I am... I have the opportunity like to play against them and ala parang ah uh, paano ba <laughs> so <laughs> parang ano lang din eh ah uh, parang i don't know parang to may pinaglalaban kasi di ba lahat may pinaglalaban mm-hmm. eh so mm-hmm. yung ganung feeling yung ganung pinanghahawakan namin. It's what, ano eh, yun yung thrill din eh. Alam mo may pinaglalaban sa lahat. Tapos, syempre, hindi ka magpapatalo. So, ganun. Parang, the, comp- the competition is so, mm. I don't know, di ko, I can't find the right word for it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just happy, Faith, na, na experience mo yung rivalry. Di ba? Because, I mean, Ateneo Lasal, that, that's what, like, if you're a super competitive person, those are the type of games that you want to be in, di ba? And at least I'm happy na na-experience mo rin yung MOA, ganung kalikang crowd. You know, it was a pumped-up LaSalle team. And, you know, it was your rookie year. Pero we're gonna have to wait a little bit more, longer, for, for that to come back. Pero eto nga, yung AVC, crossing fingers, hopefully matuloyan. I know you're very excited, Faith. But um, I, I, for my last question, I want you to to take a step back first and uh, like be a spectator again because the Premier Volleyball League is also happening soon, hopefully. Um, who's your favorite team and why? Like, because this is your chance to be a fan. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> fan eh? Like, I'm sure you're going to be watching because hey, like all the great players in the Philippines are going to be in the PVL. So who's your favorite team? Who, you, who do you look forward to watching and learning from in the PVL? 
Ah, uh, syempre lalayo pa ba ako? Hindi sa Choco Mucho kasi ando na yung <laughs> ano, ando na yung coach ko. Ando na yung uh, teammates ko dati, 'di ba? Sila Ate Pong, guys, sila Ate Kat, nandoon. So, lalayo pa ba ako? So, siya talaga yung parang syempre kasi looking looking at it, parang dati if the rule kung wala lang rule, baka sila pa yung yung di ba there this rule about playing pro. Yeah, yeah. So, kung wala If wala lang da, kung walang rule baka nandoon din ako. Oh! Pero what if, what if, what yeah. if diba? Yeah, 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 what if yeah. walang ganoon baka yeah. din ako. Yeah. So, parang eh syempre nandoon na si coach. Oh, eh siya naman yung makakasama ko for the next years in my college. So, yeah. might as well sila, 'di ba? Sila na talaga suportahan ko. Okay. Okay, ito ah. Sorry ah. I just want to add a little bit more intrigue. Okay, if it's not Choco Mucho and you can't pick cream line also. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Eto na, sino yung gusto? Uh, Who do you want to watch na makalaban ng Choco Mucho or or Creamline? Like uh, like like you're gonna like papanoorin mo talaga because you know it's gonna be a good game. Ah, uh, yung team ni Ate Jaja, Cherry Cherry Tigo. Yeah. Yeah, that yep. team and of course yung F2, tama ba? F2 na yep, ba? Yeah, those teams. Yeah, Kung yeah. sila man yung maglalaban-laban, papanoorin ko talaga. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so uh, we're all excited for that. Faith, again, congratulations uh, and, and best of luck. I mean, 21 years old, sky's the limit for you. Uh, wish you all the best in your career. And again, thank you so much for the time. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Young Phenom, Faith Nesperos of the Atene Lady Eagles and part of the national team pool here on Volleyball DNA. Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.